Hey everybody, welcome back. No, I am not currently in the craft room. I am currently sitting at work. This is my little desk. Don't mind my little sticker up here. That is my center point so I know where to put my hands and my project. <laughs> I have been trying to figure out a way to fix those Tunisian hooks that I showed you in yesterday's video or the last video I put up. It was the ones with the cable. Um, the one that I was working with it just, I cannot get it to stay together with the hot glue. I've tried high temperature, which was the one on the video. I tried it again with the low temperature and it just, it will not stay for whatever reason. I don't know. The smaller ones worked just fine. So whatever. I had another brilliant idea, which I also tried again when I tried with the lower temperature. Uh, Terry from Nana's Crochet Ideas had left a comment suggesting to rough up the little nubby with some uh, sandpaper or something like that. I didn't have any sandpaper handy so I took a uh, pair of scissors and I just kind of, you know, scored it up pretty good with the scissors on that little nubby. Not cutting all the way through but just leaving some mess on there. And that still didn't work. Today I had this bright idea to uh, drill a hole carefully drill a hole through one which I'd found another set of those cabled hooks but it did the same thing after about two rows so yeah anyway so the idea was to drill a little hole in the hook and run a piece of string through that or yarn I was using rug yarn kind of like a nook hook but that's not going to work very well either I went across fine but I cannot go back it just gets caught up too bad on the yarn or on the loops of my project so I've checked with Steve to see if it's okay if I go ahead and order just one hook just the size that I need I'm hoping he says yes he hasn't replied to me yet but I don't think it'll be that big of a problem one is cheaper than buying the whole set that I'd like to have but I need to get that project finished I'm running out of time because the projects have to be finished before the end of the month. And I didn't think about it the other day, but if you're interested in Terry and Lottie's monthly challenges, I will put a link to their May challenge videos down in the description. If you are a fast crocheter or a fast knitter, you still have time to get a project in for their challenge. I'm hoping I can get mine done. But anyway, since that was a big flop and fail for me today, I do still have the scarves that I'm working on that I told you about. I'm not going to show them to you because they're in my bag and I'm not going to pull them out. But I was so frustrated last night that these two colors of yarn were speaking to me. This is like a forest green and this is a purple. Forest green and purple. And if I didn't mention this is just my reference point. I think they look good together. Here is what I have started so far. Yes. I think I like that. I like that a lot. The only problem is this is a little long. <laughs> I Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I think it's the um, yarn itself. But sometimes I chain 80 and it's the perfect size. Sometimes I have to chain less. This time I did 80 and it's a little big, but I think it will be fine. And all I'm doing is this whole thing so far, at least the brim, is just the extended simple stitch is what I'm doing. You notice there is no curl. No curl. I guess you can't see the no curl because it was too far down. <laughs> but yeah, this is a two color. I know I have done multiple colors. I mean two color, one color before, but I'm just doing a two color because these colors were just sitting there and staring at me. So when you get to that point, all you do is you flip it around and you take the other end of your hook and you go back the other way. I don't know if I'm going to do the whole hat in extended Tunisian or maybe I'll just mix it up. I could do the whole hat in extended Tunisian, but then it'll make it kind of a thin hat. As you can see, let me get that up. Maybe you can see it is kind of gappy. I think it is anyway kind of loose but anyway that'll be okay for the ribbing of the hat or the brim of the hat 
I might go with just straight simple stitch or like I said I might mix it up a little bit I mean that is allowed to mix things up it gives the hat definitely some character when you mix stitches but I'm one of those people that's kind of afraid to mix stitches because I don't know if it's okay or correct until I see someone else do it and then after someone else does it or I see it in a pattern then it's like oh hey I can do that because I've been told it was okay by someone else or another project so yeah that's what I am currently working on hoping that I will be able to get a new hook in fairly quickly so that I can work on my shawl some more if y'all would like just a sneak peek for that shawl I'm using Red Heart and it is favorite stripes it is my favorite stripes I love that yarn but I currently have it in this big huge bag here and here is just a sneak peek for y'all so you have something to look forward to hopefully by the end of the month <laughs> this is the uh, string that I was trying to fix my hook with but yeah it's not gonna work I'm sad that it's not gonna work but anyway, there you are. There is a sneak peek. And I will probably see you back on Monday in the craft room. And hopefully I have a finished hat and maybe some more. So I want to thank you guys for joining me real quick. And I will see you in my next video.